Hi, I'm Ellie. Welcome back to the Tech Tricks channel. In this tutorial, I will cover everything you need to know about data validation in Google Sheets from basic to advanced technique. With the use of data validation, you can control the type of data that is entered into your spreadsheet and prevent errors. Okay, enough talk. Let's see how to use data validation. Here I have a sheet of students of a class that contains different items. Let's see how we can use data validation for each header to reduce the chances of error by only accepting valid data. The first one is student name. For this column, I need only to have text, and numbers or other characters is not acceptable. So I go to the data tab. Data validation. This pen on the right side will open. I click Add the rule. Now there are different fields that I should fill them. The Apply to Range field is where the input data will go through the data validation criteria. This can be a single cell or a range of cells. I can type the range. For example, in this case, A2. To A. Or I can click on this icon and select the field. I click on the first cell, then Ctrl Shift down to select the whole column. You can choose multiple cells or columns to apply the rule for them. Now I go ahead and click OK. The following field is the criteria. This is the criteria where you indicate what sort of data is valid. The valid data type can be number, text, date, list, checkbox, or custom formula. In the validation criteria section, I choose text contains or text does not contain, depending on my preference. Here I need text does not contain. In the value or formula field, I enter a string of characters that are numeric or special characters. Now in the advanced option, I prefer to show help text and reject the input if the data is invalid. OK, this rule finished. I go ahead and click on done. Let's test the rule. I type a name with numbers in the cell. As you can see, this warning will show. Now I try a word without any numbers. OK, everything is good. The following header is the phone number. I need to accept just numbers. So again, I go to the Data tab, Data Validation. I click on Add Rule. I apply the rule to the whole column, so B3. To B. For criteria, again I can choose text contains or does not contain. I select does not contain. And now I add all characters except numbers. Again, show help text and reject the input. Done. Now let's test it. If my values contain alphabet characters, this pop up window will show. Now I enter just numbers. And it's OK. For the next, which is email address, I want only a valid email to be accepted. So I add a new rule. For apply to the range, I choose column C. Then for the criteria, there is an option for email called the text is valid email. This rule ensures that the user enters a correctly formatted email address in the cell, which can be used for sending emails or other purposes. If the text entered does not match the format of an email address, an error message will be displayed, and the user will be prompted to enter a valid email address. Let's see. I enter an email with an incorrect format, and this error message will appear.
for class name, I want to have a drop down list. So I add a new rule. I select the whole column for the range. Now I open the criteria list, and as you can see, there are two types of drop downs. I choose drop down. Now, as you see, I should type each value in these fields. But if I select drop down from a range, I can choose a range as a reference. For example, in sheet 2, I typed a list of classes. Now I click on this icon and select the range. You will see the list name here. Now I can give each class a color for better organization. I can choose display style and then done. Now I want to add check boxes to these cells for selecting the class date. So I add a new rule and selected these cells for the range. For the criteria menu, I choose check boxes. You can use custom text values, but I prefer not. Show a help text and reject the input. OK, done. As you can see, check boxes are added to all these cells, and I can click on them. Now let's go through dates. I add a rule and I'm choosing the criteria. There are different date options. You can see the full tutorial of this in data validation in my channel. I prefer is a valid date. And done. Now if I double click in the cell, a date picker will appear and I can choose a valid date. Or if I type an invalid date, this pop up window will be displayed. Now for the score column, I want to have numbers between 0 to 20. So I add a new rule. Now as before, I select the column and for criteria, I go to the number section and choose is between. And I type 0 and 20. OK, done. I type 25. As you can see, the error message will display. Now I type 20, and it is accepted. In the data validation pan, you can also see other options, such as the custom formula that you can use based on your need. Now at the end, to delete any of these rules, you can easily click on the trash icon. For the next, I suggest you to watch this tutorial that improve your skills in Google Sheets and make you a pro. If you have any question, ask me in the comments and I will answer all of them. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.